You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Sharice here. Hey, everybody. We are here on this beautiful Thursday in sunny Tampa, Florida, the Grand Hyatt for the start of the Titan Medical Center Tampa Pro. So right now is a setup, and me and Sharice like to always come here for the setup just to make sure everything's right and uh, keep that nice uniformity and quality of standard that we always like to present at any event that we go to. When you're walking around here and you're seeing all these people, are they here for the show or they're here to support somebody that's in the show? Wow, guys, a bunch of beautiful people here today. If you're not here, you're missing out. The main event's 3.30 here Saturday. Uh, we're gonna have the full, uh, full gamut of uh, open pro fitness, wellness, bikini, and of course, open men bodybuilding all vying for the Olympia qualifications. After that, we're gonna have the Ben Weider Lifetime Achievement Award that's gonna go to no other than eight-time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman. What's up, guys? John here, and I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And my awesome son, Peter. So we are here day two, Friday, of the Titan Medical Center, Tampa Pro. Yep. Today is gonna be slammed. Tomorrow is gonna be even more slammed. And the best thing is, is Titan Medical Center is here, title sponsor as usual. And we're giving away free amino acid shots, free B12 shots, free Titan t-shirts, high quality, you know that standard is always top with us. Top tier all the way through. We're gonna get on to the booth over here. Let's go, follow us, let's take the journey, and uh, we'll be giving you updates all the way through and through. Let's go. Let's do it. It's Destiny here with the Titan Eds. We are at the 2024 Tampa Pro. As you guys know, this is a big event. Now this is kind of like a precursor before Olympia, getting the girls ready and everything. So stay tuned, come with us. We're going to take you through all the behind the scenes. We're gonna be shooting some content for you guys, interacting with a lot of you guys here at the booth, giving away free goodies. We brought some specialty items and some new things from our collection. I cannot wait to meet you all. And if you're not at this event, stay tuned for the next one and I'll meet you there. a ton of people come to our booth at Titan Medical Center for the Tampa Pro 2024. Super excited to be here for another amazing year. What's up guys? John here, I'm with my beautiful wife Sharice. Hey everybody. My son Peter and all the Titan Ed crew here. So at this point we are at day three of the Titan Medical Center Tampa Pro. Are you excited about this or what, Boo? Always, every year. We've been doing this a long time now. I mean, man, we've been at a lot of years. Come see us in person, take a picture, get a free B12 shot or amino shot, or maybe even a Titan t-shirt. We'll see you guys next year at the Titan Medical Center Tampa Pro. See you then. Hey guys, we're here at Tampa Pro for day three. Come with me, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside. Little sneak peek. Bringing the energy. 
energy and super excited to see all the competitors crush it and have you visit us at our booth. What up everyone? We are here, Titan Medical in the house. My boy, John. That's right. We got Sharice. That's right. Oh, we got Pete. Peter. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be borrowing so much money from this dude in about five years. <laughs> hey, but it's a great day. Like I said, we're all hanging out here, having a great time at the Titan Medical Center in Tampa Pro. We're going to you know, take some more pictures, talk to some more people. I'm going to catch up with that is real quick. We appreciate all you guys, and thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. We love you, bro. Love you, too. All right, bro. Love you. Love you. Love you. Come on, Adi. Come on, Pete. Pete, Pete, say you're going to give me some money, y'all. Don't forget oh. about that part. Don't edit that out. <laughs> Anything from hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, peptide therapy, and nationwide blood work, nationwide service and everything we do. So we're here to help you guys. We've been around for 12 years and we've got some new exciting things coming down the pipe, but I want you guys to really concentrate on your health and that's the biggest thing to us is to help you guys. Are you keeping an eye on your health? Call or text Titan Medical Center today. Hey guys, so me and my beautiful wife Sharice here. Hey everybody. We're here at Titan Medical Center headquarters and we're waiting on Generation Iron to show up. Um, we're gonna do a short documentary on us to show, I guess, our story, show some of our services, um, get some testimonials from some real people who got real results, um, and just show you why Titan Medical Center is the best choice you can make. We are super, super excited to get this documentary done because we've been open for almost 12 years now. And it has been quite a journey for me and John, and we wanna share that with the world. Now, we've always talked about doing our own documentary, which we will still do. However, this will be a nice, short snippet so that it'll kind of, you know, Everybody can watch it and see how Titan grew into the massive creator of Optimal Health. So come along with us behind the scenes. I hope you guys like it. What's up guys, today we're at the Socorus compound, that's right, the Titan Medical Center compound, doing our interviews with Generation Iron. They wanted to follow us around, see how our day was, see where we live and how we live, and all about the Titan lifestyle. And then we're gonna head back over to Titan Medical Center headquarters to do some more uh, testimonials, because real patients, real results, that's what matters. And uh, some other behind the scenes and B-roll and stuff like that, and then learning more of the story of Titan Medical Center and how we came to be. So you guys are gonna get to see these behind the scenes from us, and then you guys will get to see the final edit from Generation Iron on their page and our pages too as well. So stay tuned. I think you guys are going to love it. What's up, guys? Today we are hanging out with Generation Iron. I got Vlad and Edwin here. And uh, we're going to be doing some behind the scenes, some testimonials, and I guess uh, an interview with me. So. At that point, very excited to have these guys down here. Thank you guys for making the trip down here.
comes to optimizing your health and improving your quality of life, Titan Medical Center has set the standard. For over a decade, Titan Medical Center has been providing unparalleled care for patients nationwide, from medical services and therapies to premium quality apparel and much more. If you're interested in more information about Titan Medical Center or to become a patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Start living your life Titan strong and become part of the Titan Medical Center family. Titan, more than a medical center, it's a lifestyle. What is going on everybody? This is Coach Mayhem. I'm here at Titan Medical Center about to get my blood drawn. As if you guys don't know, I preach about this all the time. Blood work, blood work, blood work. Highly important to know what's going on inside your body. You may feel okay, but your blood markers may be all over the place. And if you're not well versed in what uh, all your blood work could entail, there's a lot of different markers in there that can tell them what is going on inside your body. Like your extra dial is jacked up. If you're having mood swings, that's probably why. They can give you all type of different remedies to fix that. Me personally, I have had one of the best experiences with this company. I've been working with them for four to five years now. They've been great personal friends of mine. I have been injured more times than I care to admit. I've actually spent the last year and a half as a sponsored athlete injured. And I really, really want to send a special shout out and thank you to John and Cherise for looking after me during those times because peptides that they were giving me were instrumental in my recovery. I blew out both of my shoulders. As you can see the scars, I cannot make this up. They were telling me six months to recover while I was using a couple other things, their, uh, their BPC, their TB500, and that cut that time down from six months down to, I, I was back in the gym within six weeks. Now, of course, I wasn't lifting massive amount of weights, but with an incredible recovery team with the uh, peptides and the help that I got from here. And then on top of that, them keeping me in check with my blood work, making sure that I am healthy and okay, has been absolutely vital in my not only recovery, but my continuance as an athlete. Because again, let me harp on the blood work again, like with what we do, like it's an obvious risk. So mitigating those risks and knowing what's going on with your blood work is highly important. And I cannot stress this enough to you guys. So. It's too easy, it's too fast to come in here. You see the girls, you get water, you get free clothes, like, come on, like, why wouldn't you go and do it? John and Therese have made this too easy. And then I'll get my uh, records and stuff there over the phone or they'll text it to me. So they make it way too easy for you guys. So come on down to Titan Medical, come get your blood work checked. You may have some stuff going on that you don't even know about. You may have to thank me for it later. Ding, 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 battle of the century. Which weight loss medication is gonna be better for you? Semi-glutide versus tirazepatide. Which one's the better one? Which one's gonna be more effective? Which one will help you lose more weight and control your hemoglobin A1C? What's your sugar levels? Let's get down to it, break it down. Semi-glutide, GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide one. This sits a part of the brain to make you feel like you're not hungry. It slows down digestion too as well so you don't have as much stomach emptying happen. It also controls hemoglobin A1C, sugar levels that are in the bloodstream. Very good, very effective. A lot of people use it. 
some of the different points. It could make you nauseous, it could slow down stomach and it cause some stomach pains and stuff like that. Now, we have tirzepatide. It has two main active ingredients, glucagon like peptide one, just like semi-glutide, and it has GIP, glucagon-dependent insulotropic polypeptide. That means two active ingredients affecting the body, the brain, one, making sure that you're not hungry, two, affecting the slow digestion in the stomach and the stomach eptine, and also releases micronutrients at an even level, so it's controlling your hemoglobin A1C. Now, clinical trials on paper, tirazepatide is the obvious winner of this because it will affect weight loss a little bit more as far as giving you better results, and it will control hemoglobin A1C a little bit better than semiglutide. Not a whole bunch better, but a little bit better. And patients have been describing this as having not as much nausea. Now, listen, either one of these, if you get them from Titan Medical Center, don't worry about the nausea because we will give you an add back therapy, something along with it, that will control and help you not get nauseous on these medications. But both are truly very effective and have changed so many people's lives out there and increased and helped people's health. And that's the number one thing, right? There's a lot of type two diabetics out there. And most of these type two diabetics are overweight or obese. And this is causing a lot of the problems that are going on inside their body and can create even more problems. So when they lose the weight using these weight loss medications, they get healthier all the way around. I mean, even the studies are showing that cardiovascular health improves with these medications. What might be because mainly you're losing weight and you're feeling great, right? So there's not an excuse anymore to be overweight and obese. It's your time to get the dream body that you've always wanted and be healthier all the way around. So don't delay. If you have more questions about this, you want more information, how it can help you as a patient, please call or text us, 727-389-3220. We'll be happy to set you up with a consultation with our medical providers and get you healthier than you've ever been in your life. You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. I love being a patient of Titan Medical Center. From the atmosphere to the service, everything is always amazing. I would recommend Titan Medical Center for anybody who wants to be the best version of themselves. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife over here, hey, I bring you guys new tips, tricks, and information to hopefully take your relationship to a new level, an exciting, new, healthy level of love, passion, and everything that comes along with it. So over the years, me and my beautiful wife here, uh, we've went through a ton of different scenarios, situations. Trials the good, and tribulations, the bad, the ugly, the, 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 the top, the bottom. I don't like the bottom, you know? It's Definitely so... not. And you know what? You know, we have good friends and we like the people watch. So we've seen so many different scenarios <laughs> go down, you know, that you would never even think of or think this is some movie type stuff that we're talking about. For here, sure, right? for sure. So at that point, like, you know, we want to bring this information to you guys. Now, maybe you're in a relationship right now that's not doing so good. Maybe you're in a relationship that's thriving. Maybe you're just not in a relationship right now and you're looking for that special someone or that right partner. So at that point, like, you know, every week we want to bring you guys something that's going to help you guys out. Something you guys can put in the back of that Rolodex you guys can pull out at any time to be able to utilize. So for this, we want to really talk about, I mean, I guess it's a big, you know, a big thing in relationships. It is a big one, man. Or personally is financial status, right? And how to be financially responsible. And, and how to share financial responsibility right, properly. Right. And, uh, and be able to trust your partner too as well, right? Because when we start getting in a relationship with somebody, it's not like we do a, a background check or a credit check, or maybe some of you guys do. I mean, maybe you guys should. I've heard of some, <laughs> some people out there actually doing this. So at that point, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I think it's like, you know, in the beginning, you know, that's, I don't know, maybe just starts off wrong for me because it's not the old school way. Like you meet somebody, you learn about them, you know, 
people change a little bit through the years too. So they might've been one way, you know, before, and then they've, they've, you know, evolved into something hopefully better. Right. So at that point, you know, I don't want to just, want to just go, oh, I already know everything about your past. And like, that's when I'm going to judge you off your past. Well, I know how much you guys like personal stories that I share about John. So this one's a really good one. And he always mentions it too. So when I first met John, right, he always looked real sharp, you know, always looked real good. And anytime we went out with friends or whatever, he would, you know, pick up the tabs and do this and do that. And I'm, I'm like thinking to myself, okay, you know, obviously I'm looking to see what does he drive? And at the time he had an avalanche and he had a, <laughs> what was the other car? A 300M? 300 I think it was. Yeah. yeah he, had, he had those two cars. Um, I hated the truck by the way. Cause I just, I just don't like, I didn't like the truck, but you know, John looks better in his vehicles today. Uh, but anyways, so I obviously wanted to know, like, you know, what, okay, so what, what do you do? You, you can ask what you do. It doesn't mean that just because you do this job that you make good money, right? So, you know, he was working for a marketing advertising firm, and then, you know, he listed, like, seven other jobs that he did, and I started laughing, like, ha, 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 yeah, right, you don't, you don't own a transmission shop. Yeah, right. Come to find out, he actually did own a transmission shop. I'm like, what? I'm like, this is insane. So, anyways... I was spending at his house one night and, you know, he, I think he went to work or something and I was still there and I'm like, you know, getting ready or whatever. And, you know, he happened to leave a paycheck stub out on his dresser. Some, you know, me being the incredibly nosy individual that I am, I went ahead and looked at the paycheck stub because I wanted to see, you know, what is he making? And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, he's making pretty good money. My thing was is that I went home that night and told my dad, I'm like, hey, you know, I met this really good guy, you know, he's super, super humble and he like, he makes good money, but he doesn't act like it. And I'm like, you know, to me, that was like huge for me. You know, I was like, this guy has good money, but he doesn't act like, you know, you know how most guys act if they have money. He wasn't one of those people. So I was like, you know, it just, you know, you didn't really find too many of those guys back in the day. So to this day, I think it's even more rare that you'll find a guy that's like that. But you know, that's kind of how I found out about John's financial status. Uh, you know, I can't say it was stupid new. around. It was not, I knew you were gonna say stupid, stupid. around. I Let me see what else I can find I, on this guy. I, oh, I went. Oh, di- yeah. Hold on, I went digging for sure. Don't I leave, found everything. Don't leave my home by themselves. I found They're everything. Going through all your med I, cabinet, pictures, diaries. They look at your computer. They look at videos. videos. Like, oh, everything. oh, I got all the good stuff. <laughs> like, what is this? Why were you doing? this 10 years ago what is wrong with you i've only known you for three weeks <laughs> <laughs> funny story you know but um i mean it's a, you know i think it's important that you know you know the financial status i think at some point in the relationship, where, where do you think that point would be like I that mean, you should probably know that time frame? i think honestly a couple months in right i mean you should pretty much gauge like hey listen what is what does this person do for a career, right? What are they doing as far as that goes? Now, there's two types of people, right? One, they're just having fun. They could care less. But sometimes those turn into relationships too. So you really do want to find this information out and learn about your partner. Right. And be like, hey, listen, what are you doing? You know, because listen, they could be a drug dealer. They can be making really good money. <laughs> but at that point, be putting you into jeopardy too as well. Right, right, right. So there's different things that, you know, maybe you're okay with, maybe you're not okay with. And at that point, you know, you find these things out, you know, but as you're going into it. And then the next step, I guess, would when be- When you guys get into a relationship. When you're in the relationship, then it starts getting a little bit more like, serious okay, now. Yeah, how, how far down right? the line? It's like, okay, You guys can buy accounts. things, bank accounts, but then, you know, moving in together, then now you're both gonna be on a lease per se, or you're on a mortgage. And this is gonna show, you, you know, what your credit rating score <laughs> credit is. Credit score. <laughs> and that's gonna be a big eye opener for you. You know, uh. usually people that have low credit scores <laughs> have either been and made bad financial situations mm-hmm. or, or decisions. Or, you know, somebody's brought them down to as well. I mean, at that point, you really want to gauge on that. And that's why a lot of people look at credit scores, you know, whether you're getting a car, whether you're getting a house, uh, whether they're going to extend you credit for anything. They want to look at this because it does show consistency about who you are and the importance of do you think bills are important to pay or not? Mm-hmm. I mean, it really, really comes down to and are they going to get their money or not? So, you know, I think this is something you need to really look at. And, you know, if you're going to go to the next step, or maybe getting married, you know, you should be talking about the possible debts, right? Now I have, you know, $50,000 in college debt. I have, you know, $100,000 in credit card debt because once you get married, now you're going to be on the hook to a certain degree of those liabilities. Mm-hmm. Um, and at that point, you don't want to be like, oh. Now, the other flip side to this, what if you guys start out and you guys are all good, right? Mm-hmm. There's nothing in the past. But the problem is, is that you guys aren't agreeing on how to spend money. That's right. the big one, guys. So the biggest thing is, is to get on the same page. Yeah. I think if you align yourself and you get the exact same goals and you have the exact same mission, you guys are both working towards that goal and mission to accomplish it. And if it's, hey, listen, we need to get a down payment for a house. 
All right, so we need to put $20,000 in the bank because we're looking at buying a $200,000 house or $400,000, whatever it is. And you guys start working towards that goal. Now, you know, you have the wife that goes, you know what, I'm going to Louis Vuitton. She gets two purses. Now, what, $10,000 of your money is gone from your deposit. This isn't a smart move on her behalf. And you guys need to talk about that and say, listen, this is not what we plan to do. Now, if they keep disagreeing with it, this might not be the financial I think that's like that, that's, that's the big one, right? Is that, you know, people will just go out and just spend the money, especially right. if both the parties are working, right? Because right. both parties are working. Let's say they both get direct deposit into their bank account. They're like, well, that's my money and that's your money. So if I want to go and have a lavish lunch with my friends, then I'm going to just go do that. But you didn't really clear it with your significant other and you guys might be struggling for money. Right. And that's not what you should be doing. I right. mean, my parents used to fight about it all the time. That is what almost every, I would say 90% of their fights was about money. Yeah. It was it's terrible. A, it's a big one. It's a, it's a big uh, deal breaker for a lot of relationships, a lot of business partners. I mean, anything. Dealing with money is a very, very serious thing. And, you know, sometimes it makes people good and sometimes it makes people even worse. So at that point, like, you, know, you just need to have that conversation with your partner, be able to trust your partner. And then when you guys really start accumulating and going together, it's a big, serious thing. Because at that point, if you guys do establish a bank account together, you're both signers on that account, then anybody could take that money out of the account at any point in time too as well. Mm -hmm. And I've had some of my friends <laughs> where girls have you know, thought, this guy's gonna lead me, I'm gonna take everything he's got out of the bank account and actually did it. So at that point, you know, you always wanna cover your butt too as well. But if you're in a relationship with somebody and you think that they really love you, you really love them and you trust each other because that's a big foundation part. Trust. Got it. Trust and communication. You don't have, you don't have trust. I mean, you might as well just be, you know, you're on a weak foundation that's just going to fall over at any time. You just don't know when. Mm -hmm. So these are some big things and financial responsibility, especially in a relationship between the two partners is a very, very serious thing especially if you're planning for a future family or whatever you guys are trying to do. Mm -hmm. But you guys need to be on the same page. You need to work together. You guys need to have goals and the do's or don'ts. You gotta have a team. And you know what? Be realistic about it too. If you got a girl that likes to go out, you wanna treat her too as well. So set aside a little budget for, for shopping or, or whatever it is. And then everything goes good in the, the, the big pot. And they say, listen, honey, here's some money. Go do whatever you want with it. <laughs> I think it'll make them feel a lot better and that will help you guys accomplish your goal. And like I said, if they don't get on that or they keep going against what you're doing, then you guys are going to have to set some other policies or some things in policies. Well, something. <laughs> the verbiage. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have to set something in place. Some boundaries right? for sure. For so sure. listen, that's just our tip of the week from you guys for Cupid's Corner. Remember, you guys can see us on ABC every Sunday at 11 a.m., right? 30 minutes, you guys get to see everything about me and Sharice, plus our Cupid's Corner, give you guys great information, tips, tricks, and things that you guys can definitely, definitely get something from for sure. So you guys can watch it live, DVR it, or if you don't get to do either one of those, you guys can always go over to our YouTube and watch the whole entire episode and all the other episodes. And if you don't like to watch us, you just go over to our podcast. You guys can listen to us on the road while you're working out, whatever you're doing. So we'll see you <laughs> next Sunday, 11 a.m. Cupid's Corner, baby. Tight medical health and lifestyle show coming at you guys. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you guys for all the support. See you then.